Hello, this is Dr. Achal Pant and today I'm going to tell you what are whiteheads and blackheads, how they form and how to treat them. I make videos on skin, skin related concerns and on hair transplantation. If such content is of interest to you, then please subscribe to our channel. So what are whiteheads and blackheads? On our face, we have a lot of hair follicles, a lot of thin hair that cannot be seen sometimes. They are called villous hair. And at the end of the hair, there is a sebaceous gland, which is the oil forming gland attached to it. So this oil forming gland is what makes oil or sebum, which hydrates and moisturizes our face. So these hair follicles along with the sebaceous gland is referred to as the pilosebaceous unit. Pilo meaning the hair and sebaceous unit is the oil forming gland. So this entire unit is called the pilosebaceous unit. These units are present in a higher number and are more dense over the forehead, on the nose and the chin area which we refer to as the T-zone. So people tend to feel that the T-zone remains oily whereas the rest of the face might remain normal to dry. This is because this area has the highest concentration of these oil forming glands. And this is also the area where you see the most number of comedons. So the place from which the hair comes out is the area from which this sebum or the oil also comes out on the top of our skin. So these are known as pores. When these pores are blocked with either keratin, skin debris or with oil, then it is known as a comedon. So why does this blockage occur? Because of certain disbalances which cause the lining of the pilosebaceous unit to become thickened, then whatever skin debris is collected does not extrude out but it remains in the unit and then causes occlusion of the opening. So whatever oil is formed from this oil forming gland, the sebaceous gland gets stuck in that opening. That's why it's not able to come out and this leads to comedon. If along with the uh, occlusion or along with the blockage, there is either bacterial infection or some type of inflammation or reaction, then this leads to acne. So these blackheads and whiteheads are actually precursor lesions of acne. They are known as early lesions of acne. So blackheads form when there is no overlying layer on the top of the skin. So the keratin debris and the oil is exposed and this turns the color of the keratin into black. So it is not actually dirt. So blackheads are not because of collection of dirt in that area but because of the keratin turning black. Patients tend to feel that blackheads are actually due to dirt and try to rub it off or scrub it harshly. This should absolutely not be done because this will just abrade the skin and cause even more inflammation and irritation. And whiteheads occur because of the similar pathogenesis. We refer to whiteheads as closed comedons because they have a thin layer of skin on top of the comedon. So how do we treat these blackheads and whiteheads? The treatment of comedons usually form along the line of acne. So we want to reduce the oil production. We want to reduce the increased turnover of cell that is happening. Hence treatment consists of creams which kind of reduce the thickness of the lining and also creams which reduce oil production so that these comedons do not recur. If you get small multiple blackheads, especially on your nose, then what you can do is take hot steam for about 5 to 10 minutes. This will help in opening up of the pores and then you can use a comedon extractor very gently to remove the keratin product from the pore. Make sure that you do not tug on it. If it is not coming out, just leave it. Leave it on, maybe try it in your next session but don't try to forcibly express it. What we don't want to do is push these contents underneath and create more inflammation and then you will notice that a big acne has occurred in the area from which you try to express the blackhead. So you must be very gentle with it because your skin is on the oily side, it is a little acne prone and comedon prone. You have to take good care of it by using certain cleansers and also a few creams which reduce the formation of comedones. 
if you suffer from a lot of white heads and black heads then try to avoid oiling your hair if you do oil your hair at night make sure you changing the pillow cover the next day because what happens is that you know there's a lot of oil residue remaining on the pillow cover and when you sleep on it the next night that it just going to form a layer on your face so that is something you do not want if you live in a hot humid climate try to avoid hair oil completely because the hair oil just trickles down on your face along with the sweat and then you notice that you're getting a lot of comedons on the forehead and the sides of the face avoid using thick makeup i know a lot of people want to cover up their blemishes by using tons of makeup by using tons of foundation please avoid it do not layer your face with makeup at all times this will only hamper the natural flow of the oil to the surface of the skin and can make the acne worse you might require to use certain creams such as those containing azelaic acid salicylic acid benzoyl peroxide and tretinoin for a long time in order to shrink these pores reduce the size of the sebaceous glands and hence reduce the formation of blackheads in long term if you have very prominent blackheads and whiteheads then these need to be removed under expert supervision the whiteheads might need to be burned if they are very deep or might need a slight bit of nick with a needle on the top so that we can easily express its contents out this decision can only be taken by a dermatologist if you have a lot of whiteheads then it is referred to as comedonal acne then we'll have to put you on certain creams and probably oral medicines to make it better so understand that is not just a one stop solution that you extract your black head or a white head out and that will not come back no so you have to make an effort to be strict with your skin care routine and also use certain creams so that it does not come back if you found this video useful please subscribe to the channel and also like and share this video if such skin and hair related content is of interest to you then you can follow us on other social media handles